Well, here we are. We're live. We're live, and we're we got. I got my cutco back. Here it is. Can't really seem to fix that position of that camera there, but yeah, there it is. That's my. Uh, that's the cutco knives, and I'm excited. It took um what? No, I don't even think it took a week, did it? Maybe two weeks, ten days, maybe. I got these back two days ago. I just haven't had time. I didn't want to open them until I could open them with you. So here we go. Are we, are we ready? Are we ready? I'll open on the bottom and see what happens. Looks like there's a piece of paper down there. There's. All right. Now let's see. We got. Now the, these were all sent to the repair shop, remember? So they sent me a new catalog. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. I don't have anything like that. Uh, that's the. I forget what they call that. That's the. Uh, it's the. Uh, the block plus eight, something plus eight. Look at those, but look. Uh, so where you get three knives right there, you got that. That's not really a pairing knife. And then there's a trimmer, and then the chef, the chef knife. How much is that set? Uh, three hundred eighty-two dollars. Well, they're three hundred sixty-three dollars. See that right? Right, there's the set. See that? 360 if you bought that set. Oh, they went up a bit since I was selling them back in the early 90s. They were expensive back then for what they were. Be careful. All knife cutting edges were brought back to factory fresh sharpness. Sharp. Factory fresh edge and sharp and are sharp. You should proceed with caution when washing and using. Never put knives in a dishwasher. There's your bit of unsolicited advice. Never put knives in the dishwasher. You'll just dull them right out. Okay, so this is... This is... Well, I don't remember. Did I, I must have sent... Oh, well, it's in a isn't it nice in a plastic little plastic bag they put it in to ship it with. But I think this is... This was... I think... I think they just sent me a new one. I think this is this must be the one, the old wood handled one, that uh, it's, it's the old wood handled one that I had. I think that that was um, that was burnt on the edge. I think they just sent me a new one because I I don't think I had any with that cutco mark on there. But then it, you know it doesn't have the it doesn't have the number on it anymore. They used to have a number right there for for what it was. But that's pretty cool. That's a nice one. Put that one over there. And then this is, it's like they're all in these nice little plastic wrappers. This is, see, and they, remember, remember I had to, remember I had to put, I had to make my own little sheaths, little paper sheaths for, for mine. And, uh, they, they sent me a ni nice new ones. This, I think is this, this is, is this the spatula spreader? Yep. It's just the spatula spreader. Very nice. Oh my goodness. It's like brand new. Look at that. Look, you can see my reflection. See? Who is that handsome dude in the reflection? That would be me. I forgot to say the intelligent, intelligent, handsome, uh, among many other things. I can't, can't think of any other things to blow my own horn with. So, Okay. This is definitely going to be, I'm going to say it. This is a pairing. This is the pairing knife. And these, I think, I think I just sent the pairing knives back because they were just super dull. I don't think I had anything, yeah. But they were just super dull, but... Man, look at them. They're, like, brand new. I don't know. Maybe they are new. I don't... I don't... These could... I don't know. Because that, that... That's just really... Oh, that's super. Oh, my goodness. So nice. And this is an old... This is the old... Older... This is an older steak knife... The brown one, brown one that I had. Look at that. They made it look brand new. They made it look like it's... Maybe it is. Maybe it's not the same ones. I don't know. It's incredible. You know, so anyway, they ended up charging me... I thought it was 16 but they charged me $11 to for return shipping. And I had to pay the shipping going out, which was like... I forget. It wasn't that bad. I think maybe it was 16 bucks or something like that. I, I forget. But eleven dollars and these things, I mean, they're 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 incredible. They're just incredible. Look at this. 
they're like brand new. That's, that is not, just so you know, that is not a serrated edge. That is a double D edge. That's a cut code double D edge, which means it's not just sharp, sharp points. It means inside each one of those little fingers, there's three different cutting edges inside there. Actual cutting edges. So yeah, I kind of have to send them back because, because uh, dear customer, thank you for sending your Cutco cutlery and giving us the opportunity to service and replace your product. So if you got any Cutco, you can always call. You can always call that number, or you can message them, or you can just go to the Cutco website and start the process. It's super easy, super easy. If you got any that needs, to, I know it's hard to it's hard to part with them. It's hard to part with them to send them away for a while, but all right, and this is he did the best he could do. This was pretty beat. This was really this was pretty beat. This handle was completely like completely dried out and and ruined. I thought they might send it back, but it, it, it's it's he couldn't get it cleaned up cleaned up like like perfectly though. But it looks a lot better than it did. It was pretty beat, so that looks a lot better. I'm actually gonna sell that because I never use this, and I'm I'm probably never going to because I'm I'm uh, I'm on a how do I put it I'm on a I'm on a I, I don't this is like for vegetables and stuff and I don't really eat any and I don't eat I don't really eat potatoes I haven't for a long time so so yeah so I won't be needing this so that's gonna get sold that's one of the ones I think I picked up at a yard sale for like a quarter. I think it was beginning of last year, something like that, when I was out with Bill. Yeah, back, picked up a bunch of stuff, and it cost me like two bucks or three bucks or something, because they were all a quarter a piece. This is my pearl handled, my pearl handled trimmer. This was mine that I got when I was, when I was, um, now you can remember, I got this pearl handled trimmer when I was selling Cutco. So back in the, in the early, what was it, early 90s, somewhere I'm going to say it was before 1995. So look at the way they made it look. I mean, it just it's just incredible. It's just incredible. What a great job they did. All right, and this is... Now, one of these I had... Look at that. It looks brand new. It looks, it looks brand new. One of these I had had a broken tip right there. I don't know if it's this one. If it is, they probably they must have replaced it if it was this one. They must have just they had to have sent a new one, so this might be a new one. But I don't know. They had this still still had this kind of handle. And this isn't the real. They, they might though. Classic classic handle. What do we got here? Let's do. These ones are the ones I got. These are ones I got. See, these were. I mean, they were beat. These were these ones here. These were beat when I got them at that yard sale. They were just whooped. If, if these are all the same ones, they put them in the same... See, this was this is a nice one, though. This is a... This is a really... I like that. That, uh... The way that's designed, it's... I just like that. It's, uh... But, see, these were... These handles were really whooped. I mean, they were dish... Heavily dishwashered. Uh, they were... They were ruined. And, uh... I think they brought it back and made it look great. I think it looks nice. Not as good as brand new, of course, but but they're amazing. They're amazing. This one here, that had a little, that has a little mark on it right there. They either that was already a burn mark that was there. I'm surprised they didn't replace that, but they didn't. That's okay though. I think they must have put this. Must have got a new, a new thing on the end because this might. This is the one that was like, if you remember, it was loose. That was like loose right there. So I think they just, that's why I'm surprised they didn't replace it. But hey, it's still cool though. And then this one, eh, they could have polished that up a little more. All right, well, it's not that great, at least on this one. But still, it looks a lot better than it did when it left. I'll give it that. And here's a, this one's, yeah, there's still some, uh, not... But these were these are super old though, so um, they look better than I could have done to clean them up. <coughs> okay, so the those are really those were the ones. I'm pretty sure those are the really old ones that I had. So I'm happy with them. 
And then here's the other one of these that I sent in. This is uh, the little... So they must have replaced at least one of them because I, there's no there's no broken tip on it. So that was pretty cool. So, yep. I'm only... I'm, I'm going to... I'm only going to keep one of those because I don't need two. All right, what do we got here? We'll do this big, pot, big pack here. And this is a butch. This is, I think, a butcher knife. It's an old one. It's not the one. It's not the. Yeah, this isn't. This isn't my butcher knife. This this was. This is probably from the '60s. You can see that that this, this is an old. I think they called them rosewood handles. Do not use the term rosewood on eBay though. Apparently uh, Rosewood is a is a bad thing. Uh I guess there was like a, a massacre or something involving the name Rosewood. So look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing. You guys saw these when I sent them out. They were shot. They I mean they were they were really rough. Now we got these little nice little things on there. Sharp edge and it was I tell you that it was sharp. <laughs> it was sharp. Okay, what's this one? I think this is just uh this is a uh yeah it's the cake it's a uh, cake thing thing or jigger but look at that it's amazing the handle is amazing so yep i'm pretty happy what do we got here ah these are the there's two well this is a this is the petite carving knife and this is the regular carving knife both of these are from the ones that i paid a quarter each for at the yard sale and uh look, look at them they're they're amazing they're, i mean i don't think they could get they couldn't get it all polished down so that they would look brand well they i mean they're they, you can still see there's i don't know there's like stuff uh, oxidized or something 1727 put that one on there and this one on here i think gene might be home the dogs acted like it all right, now these are the these are the two little steak knives that I sent in. So I don't maybe there was more than I'm not sure what that other one was, but yeah, these these were just I sent these in. We use them pretty regular, so I just sent them in because they were they were pretty dull. They were I mean they're 50 years old probably, but they were they were super dull. So they're. Uh, I, th I think the I think there was three of them that I sent in, but the other one I think had a different number. It wasn't a seventeen fifty nine. Was it? Was it a seventeen fifty nine? Is it this one? No, that was the paring knife. That's seventeen twenty. Ooh, that was close. Where'd it go? Here it is. Oh, it was a seventeen. No, those are those two. Seventeen fifty nine. 1759, 1759. Okay, yeah, it was. There must be one that was a little different. I don't remember. I don't know. All right, we got. Now we got. This is the. This is the big. Yeah, this is the. This was pretty rough too. Is it just a big um. Bread bread slicer. It's a slicer. But uh, look at that. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. They're a lot better than they were. 1724. Yep, fits right in there. A lot better than they were when I sent them out. Well, I didn't know I still had a bread slicer. Okay, and this is a petite. This is the petite carver. I think this was mine. I think this was my salesman's sample. But it's pretty scratched up. A little well, there's scratches there. Ooh, that's sharp. <laughs> Careful, Dave. I'm going to have to remember that because I'm not used to them being sharp. I'm going to go to use them. I'm going to cut myself. This was just one I picked up. Yeah, this was one of those ones I picked up at, for a quarter. And I, I think it's a, like a cheese slicer, I think. So that says 30, 30, okay, 3764 it says on there. So they don't have number 68 anymore. They must not be making it. So, and uh, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. So this is way better. This is way better than it was, so. Just getting these cleaned up and sharpened up, I think I'll get... Look, that is amazing. That is amazing. This was so... It was so whooped. Absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, there's still a little bit of damage there on the end, but they made it look pretty good. They made it look pretty pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We use these knives pretty, pretty regular. 
And then there's another another carving knife. This is the big one. Yep, this is uh, not knife, fork, carving fork. And again, this is another one of those ones that just looked horrible. And now it looks fantastic. I mean, it's amazing. And, and you know, if you're going to, I mean, oh, Cutco is a, is a, they're in New York. They're in only in New York. They're an American company. They always have been. And uh, they're very, the, the, the family, I don't know, I can't think of their name. The family is very community oriented. They're very employee oriented. I, they're not union, I don't think, but they're, but it's New York. I'm surprised. Yeah, but they're amazing. They they treat their people right. So I'm told. I've been up to Olean. I've talked to people, and they absolutely love. And then there was some people that came into my antique shop in Mansfield when it was still open, and they were talking about because I had a couple cut knives in the thing, and they were from Olean, and they they'd met some of the family members, and they talked a lot about them. Um, I think Olean is very proud of of that that whole thing right there so so give them credit what's this this oh this is just a uh, a shipping thing okay and then we have my pearl handled knives these i don't know i don't think i got all four as salesman's samples i, I think i must have picked some of them up somewhere or something i don't remember but Yep, there's there, and these again were mine. I I mean I don't really remember for sure if they were the ones I got in the early '90s when I was selling them, or or what they are. But but uh, I these again I just sent these in because they were dull. It had been a long long time, obviously. So you know, thirty years or whatever. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm I'm very happy with that. So that's it. That that's all the knives. They're all back and. Uh, let me know what you think if they did a good job or 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 or, or not or what. So yeah, cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate uh, you taking your time out of your day to to enjoy my unboxing with me. Bye bye.